be 100% certain we'd have to look at it, but it's very common to have uh, a substance called efflorescence, which grows on the inside wall. It's actually the crystallization of, of the minerals and the Portland from the concrete mix as water passes through the wall. It can look chalky, it feels like baby powder. Sometimes it even looks like soap suds. Most of the time we find that the water that's coming in is coming from the outside uh, at the footing area. It comes between the bottom of the wall and the top of the footing. And another thing that causes the water to come in is hydrostatic pressure. If you think of a, a gallon of water, if you were to poke a hole at the top of a gallon of water, the water would just dribble out of that pinhole. If you poke a hole in the bottom of that gallon of water, it's going to actually spray out. So the lower you are underground, the greater the pressure is for the water to come through those gaps. Pretty much any level of water in the basement, we usually recommend that you start with a drain system around the perimeter. We do all of our work on the interior. The drain system that we use is different from most others on the market. It's a patented drain system called WaterGuard that actually sits on top of the footing as opposed to a traditional drain system which would sit inside of the footing in what's called the mud zone. By putting a drainage system on top of the footing, you intercept the water right where it's coming in, and then it just allows you to, to send that water right down to the sump system without having to enter into the mud zone where the system's eventually going to get clogged. Once we install this system around the full perimeter, we can then warrant that basement floor dry for the life of the structure, transferable to ownership for the life of the structure.